So getting more yields with your cucumbers starts with growing them inside a shelter. I see a lot of growers planting them, planting cukes in the field uh, because it's easier and it's less probably less time to set up. But man, if you get five times more yield for the same plant, I don't know why you would do it otherwise, to be honest. So why we don't trace them outside using stakes is that these plants, you know, when they're traced well, they'll grow about six, six feet high. And to set up a trays system like that, honestly, it's complicated. You know, that, those shelters, they're four season, they're amazing. We grow greens in the winter. And then, you know, this, this is planted early June. So we've had, you know, a few harvests here before. Now the cukes are going in. When the cukes are done in about eight weeks, we'll be moving on to you know, a late, uh, late season crop inside that shelter. So it's always, it's always about maximizing the space, but also the time so that you can really grow year round or as much as possible, always you know, bumping one crop to another, changing it so that you're maximizing the full potential of your growing area. That's what market gardening is all about. And when you get good at it, when you learn these tricks to really grow the plants well. It's amazing how an acre can be an abundance of vegetable. It can be a lot of work for up to four people. So again, it's like small is beautiful and it all has to do with taking good care of each plant. That's really what the farmer, the farmer's kind of different in that way. He's farming on big acreage, he wants to get yields but on a volume. We want to be careful with everything that we do. We want to be taking good care of each plant, making sure that we're planting just enough and that we always have enough. Careful balance. Hey, by the way, I want to give a shout out to Growers. Growers & Co is an amazing company that does tool and apparel. And thanks Growers for these knee pads. They're amazing. I love my pants and they're a big part of me still being able to farm after all these years. I'm 45 now and I've been farming for 20 years. And my plan, my retirement plan, is to keep on doing what I'm doing. So I appreciate the care for pants and apparel that are serviceable to my health. So one of the big problems with uh, growing cucumbers is cucumber beetle. And when the plants are young, the cucumber beetle, you know, everyone knows them. They're striped yellow and black, and they can really chew a lot of the young plants. So that's not good for the plant, but also the cucumber beetle uh, can really spread bacterial wilt, which is often the main reason why you'll have really nice, healthy plants that suddenly they start to die. And, and then that just spreads, like one beetle can really spread the diseases throughout. So when we're growing inside greenhouses, we usually have insect nets so that the cucumber beetle can't get in. Uh, in this tunnel, so this is more low tech, this is like what you would have like on a home farm. Uh, we don't have these nets. So what I'm doing is simply spraying with uh, kaolin, which is like just like a powder coated and the plant, it's a repulsive. So basically the, the beetle will be repulsed by this coated powder. So it's not gonna attack the plant. We've also put some bedding onto the, the cukes. So this is, uh, this is bedding that we got from a duck farm. It's like a mulch, which is good for the water retention, but it's also, you know, fertilized with, with duck, duck manure. On my other farm projects, any crop that's going to be there like 50 days or more, we use landscape fabric. You've probably seen a lot of videos where you see landscape fabric. But on this farm, since I want the farm to be really beautiful because, you know, we have like up to 8,000 visitors coming here this summer, you know, it's just landscape fabric. If I can use something else that looks better, I'll use that. And the, the garden is small enough so that I can manage the workload of putting 
mulch over the crops. So I learned how to trace cucumbers like this many moons ago. Uh, when I was starting in market gardening, Modelaine and I at La Grelinette, we were lucky enough, really lucky, we were kind of the first small micro farm to be part of a program here in Quebec where really seasoned greenhouse growers came to our farm and then with them over two years they showed us a lot of the <clears throat> <clears throat> a lot of the proper greenhouse techniques that really professional growers greenhouse growers use and those that's where we learn how to graft that's how we learn how to graft tomato plants we also learn how to you know trace prune uh, tomatoes indeterminate tomato plants really growing them to be super like 12 feet long lower and lean them and cucumbers was definitely one area where we needed to learn because we were having a lot of problems with the cucumber beetle with crops that just weren't giving enough fruits for it long enough and when we learned from from that group of experts our yields went fivefold and that was really encouraging for us because our strategy at La Grelinette has always been to get more yield out of the same acreage because we didn't have more land so learning greenhouse techniques was a big part of us becoming much better growers and getting more yields and increasing our bottom line about three folds so now greenhouse produce tomatoes cucumbers eggplants bell peppers that we also do in a very greenhouse type way it equates to about one third of our revenue on the farm and you know we learn how to get three to five times more yield per square foot with these techniques and since we learned these techniques uh, we practiced them for many years uh, some of them are kind of talked about in my book the market gardener but really uh, at FQT farm the other training farm that's where I really developed the skill and that's what I teach in the master class and so a lot of growers have learned from us over the years and I think that even home gardeners can learn a lot about these small simple techniques it's all about maximizing yield but there's always a part where there's a skill set that you need to acquire and that's what learning and teaching is and that's what I'm really excited about now okay it was truly amazing when we started to learn these greenhouse techniques what we realized was that there was somewhat of a barrier between professional greenhouse growers and growing and you know the small scale organic farming world you know most of our friends we're kind of doing crops in low tunnels, field tunnels. Some had greenhouses, but di really didn't know much about these, these growing techniques. And man, it, was, it just felt like we broke that barrier. We really learned how to do it professionally. And then, and then the ripple effect here in Quebec was really big because we went to our traditional you know yearly kind of farm meeting and farm gatherings and then we started to show pictures of what we were doing and we shared you know the the impact of these techniques on our farm with other growers and soon enough <coughs> uh, the same kind of uh, you know greenhouse mentors went to other farms and they also learned and honestly if you come to Quebec now and you visit some farms CSA farms, few acre farms, you know, market gardens, man, you'll see that there's a level of professionalism that I've honestly and frankly haven't seen anywhere else. And I think a big part of that is because we had these older greenhouse growers that were mentoring and, and teaching us. And so, man, I've seen it firsthand, the consequences and the impact of that. And man, I have to say, like, if you can increase your yields and your bottom line a couple fold, learning is a big investment. So once this is set up, everyone, 
It's really straightforward. The plant is gonna climb up the string. Every week we'll come and roll it around. Eventually it's gonna reach the bar. And when it reaches the bar, we're gonna use this uh, super interesting strategy called the umbrella tracing system. And if you wanna learn how to do this, you can click on the video here on the screen. I hope this was helpful. I hope you guys are doing well. I'm doing well. I'll see you next time, friends. JM out.